28 million children ages 5 to 11 in the U.S. may be eligible for the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine as early as early November. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kelly Eckerman. And I'm Laura Moritz. As KNBC 9's Bianca Beltran reports, local vaccine providers are preparing now to dis distribute thousands of vaccines to children. Tuesday, the Food and Drug Administration will meet to review and decide whether to approve the Pfizer vaccine for children ages 5 to 11. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention will meet the following week to make their recommendations on whether to begin the rollout. All goes according to what we think will happen. Uh, we would anticipate the week of November 8th uh, being able to offer it through our clinic. Uh, at Johnson County. Vaccine providers are already placing orders. Johnson County's deputy health director says they don't plan to use mass vaccine clinics for young children. The good news is that there are a lot of places that parents will be able to take their, their those younger kids to be vaccinated. Uh, you know, their, their family doctor's office, uh, pediatrician's office, pharmacies, um, a lot of places to go for them, uh, so parents should be able to find a place that's convenient for them. Pfizer data presented to the FDA committee said the vaccine is more than 90% effective at protecting children from symptomatic COVID-19. It's also important to keep in mind that children, even if they don't get uh, really sick from COVID-19, they can still get it and pass it along to to someone else in the family, the you know mom or dad or a grandmother, uh, grandfather. Um, who might get seriously ill um, from it, and so this will help protect uh, those around them as well. Bianca Beltran, KNBC 9 News. Pfizer's vaccine for children is one-third the dosage size for adults and will be packaged differently than doses meant for people 12 and older. The company reported there were no serious side effects in the trial. Moderna says its COVID-19 vaccine is effective for children ages 6 to 11. The company says its trial showed smaller doses generated a strong immune response in school-aged children. 4,700 children were given two 50 microgram doses of Moderna's vaccine 28 days apart. Moderna says the children's antibody response kicked in one month after the second dose. The most common side effects included fatigue, headache, and fever. Moderna's trial has not yet been peer reviewed. The company plans to submit its results to the FDA. Another local theater will be requiring all guests to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Overland Park's White Theater at the J will require guests to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID-19 test within 72 hours of the show. They say the policy will be in effect for their entire 2021-2022 theater season and that masks are still required unless you're eating or drinking. In Kansas City, Missouri, workers with the City Health Department will be giving out coronavirus and flu vaccines all week long. Stop by the Health Department headquarters at 24th and Troost. You don't need an appointment and you can get both vaccines at the same time. In Kansas, Johnson County leads the way with nearly 66% of residents fully vaccinated. Wyandotte County is at 48%. Miami is at 42.9%. Clay, Platt and parts of Jackson County, Missouri outside of Kansas City, Missouri are are both 47 and 50% fully vaccinated. All three counties are up at least 6% since August 15th. Some lawmakers in Jackson County want to pull the mask mandate early. The reason? Falling COVID case numbers and a low testing positivity rate below 10%. We asked doctors at the University of Kansas Health System for their opinion. And I think we um, shouldn't get too granular here and just have to understand um, the broad or overreaching uh, information that we've garnered from really the, the vast majority of the data. And that data would support the fact that we know that in those high risk situations, um, certainly indoors, uh, masks are useful. Social distancing is useful. Jackson County's mandate set to, is set to run through November 7th, and several local mask mandates are set to expire within the next few weeks if they're not extended. As of right now, Kansas City, Missouri's mandate runs through November 4th, a week from Thursday, and Wyandotte County's rules will run through November 18th. KNBC 9 is your home for any information related to the pandemic, from where you can find the next clinic in your area to mask requirements in your city. You can find all that information on our KNBC 9 News app. It's free wherever you get your app.